Ever pondered over how the electricity you use daily is distributed and what limitations this system might have? In our current electrical distribution systems, we often face challenges tied to cost, efficiency, and safety hazards. The conventional method of using multiple high voltage conductors for the power grid can be quite expensive. Not to mention, these systems can be inefficient, particularly in rural areas and regions where the distribution of electricity is a challenge. High voltage direct current or HVDC power transmission systems are sometimes used to address these issues using the ground as a second conductor. However, they too have their own limitations, such as the need for careful electrode placement to prevent electrochemical corrosion and the hazard of earth voltage potential rise. But fret not, as there's a system that addresses these limitations, the Single Wire Earth Return, or SWEAR. So, what exactly is this SWEAR and how does it work? Well, SWEAR is an ingenious system that saves costs in AC electrical distribution by using just one high voltage conductor for the power grid. Yes, you heard it right, only one. The AC return current is cleverly routed through the Earth, hence the term Earth Return. Now you might wonder how we connect to the Earth. The answer is through what we call buried grounding electrodes. These are strategically placed into the ground to make the connection to the Earth. However, the site of these electrodes isn't chosen at random. Careful consideration is given to prevent electrochemical corrosion on underground structures. This is crucial to maintain the effectiveness of the system over time. You see, Swear is a bit like the unsung hero of electrical distribution, particularly in rural areas where large earth currents won't pose hazards. It's a cost-effective and efficient way of getting power to places where traditional systems might struggle. But it's not just rural areas that benefit. Some high-voltage direct current power transmission systems, especially those with submarine cables, use the ground and water as a second conductor. That's because seawater is an excellent conductor, making it perfect for this kind of application. Now, it's important to note that this system isn't without its challenges. For example, a particular concern in the design of electrical substations is the Earth's ground voltage potential rise. The area around the current injection point may rise to a high voltage potential with respect to distant points. This is due to the resistance of the layers of soil in the Earth around a transmitter, creating a voltage gradient that can pose a hazard. Let's further explore some of these hazards and potential solutions. One of the main hazards is the risk of earth voltage potential rise. When large currents are injected into the earth at the surface, the area around the injection point may rise to a high voltage or potential compared to points around the transmitter. This is because the typical mid to high voltage ranges currently used, in conjunction with the limited conductivity of the soil, creates dramatic decreases in voltage with distance conducted. Now imagine this, the voltage gradient or the change in voltage across the distance to the injection point might be so high that different points on the ground could be at significantly different voltage potentials that current can flow between these two potentials. This creates a hazard for anyone standing on the earth in an area of the transmitters that is insufficiently insulated. Pipes, rails, or communication wires entering a substation could see different ground potentials inside and outside the substation, creating a dangerous touch voltage for unsuspecting persons who might touch these objects. But don't worry, we have a solution to this. An equipotential bonding plane with low impedance is created within the substation in accordance with IEEE 80. This bonding plane eliminates voltage gradients and ensures that any fault is cleared within three voltage cycles. And remember, power loss and voltage drop along a distance is current dependent. By stepping up the voltage and dropping the current, touch voltage issues can be eliminated. But even with these potential hazards, SWEAR still holds a significant advantage. Before we delve deeper into the potential hazards of SWEAR, it's crucial to understand two key terms, touch and step voltage. These concepts are critical in understanding the safety measures needed in SWEAR installations. Touch voltage is the potential difference between the ground potential rise and the surface potential at the point where a person is standing while simultaneously having a hand in contact with a grounded structure. This could result in an electrical shock if the touch voltage exceeds safety limits. On the other hand, we have step voltage. This is the potential difference between the feet of a person standing near an energized grounded object. It's equal to the difference in voltage, given by the current flowing between the feet times the resistance of the earth represented by two resistive voltage dividers. The step voltage could also cause electrical shock if it exceeds safety limits. So, when we talk about hazards and swear, we are essentially discussing the dangers of high touch and step voltages. With these definitions in mind, let's move on to learn about the origin story of swear. Did you know that the concept of swear has its roots in the works of a famous inventor? Yes, you guessed it right. None other than Nikola Tesla. His wireless electricity system was based on a similar concept, using the earth instead of wires to distribute electricity. Tesla strongly believed in the potential of the earth to act as a conductor and spent a significant part of his life experimenting with this idea. He envisioned a world where electricity could be freely transmitted without the need for extensive infrastructure. Contrary to popular belief, Tesla's wireless system was not through the air. 
He tried this approach but found it unfeasible due to dispersion issues. Instead, he focused on the ground beneath us, seeing the Earth as an immense reservoir capable of becoming a conductor for electrical transmission. This concept, which is the cornerstone of swear, was seen as revolutionary at the time and continues to influence electrical distribution systems today. So the next time you switch on a light, remember the genius of Nikola Tesla and the power of the earth beneath your feet. This is the legacy we continue to benefit from as we explore more efficient and sustainable ways of power distribution. Understanding Tesla's vision requires us to delve deeper into the realm of high voltage electricity. Remember when we talked about power loss and voltage drop? Well, these are current dependent, with power loss being calculated as P loss equals R times current squared. Tesla's approach was to significantly increase the voltage, thus reducing the current, which would in turn eliminate the touch voltage issues. This is because the voltage drop across any distance across the earth ultimately goes to zero. This principle takes into account the increased resistance of the soil. So if we step up the voltage by three orders of magnitude from the typical 100,000 volts of transmission lines to the 50 to 100 million volts Tesla suggested with his magnifying transmitter, the current would scale down by a factor of 1 1,000th. And here's the magic, because because power loss is proportional to the square of the current. When the current drops by 1 1 1,000th, the power loss drops by a staggering 1 1 millionth of what it would be through copper lines. Even if the earth wire being used was just the diameter of the copper wire, the soil could have a resistance million times that of copper, and it would still have the same power loss over the same distance. And there's more. The earth won't have inductive and capacitive impedance losses, unlike suspended transmission wires. Moreover, the resistance is inversely proportional to the conductive area. So when using the entire area of the Earth to conduct electricity, the resistance plummets and the power loss scales proportionally, with this reduced resistance due to increased conductive area. So in essence, Tesla's high voltage approach could potentially solve many of the power loss issues we face with today's electrical distribution systems. It's a radical idea, but one that could revolutionize the way we transmit power, making it more efficient and sustainable.